Hi guys, uh, this is the route that I, I planned for today. I did make the video of showing you how to do this, uh, which I'll post at the end of the video. But what it is, I went down here today in this area and it was pretty windy. Uh, it started off about uh, 12 miles an hour at base level and it'll probably go up to about 18, 20 when I get up to this full 200 height. So what I've did, I deleted this area here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this delete these ones and then uh, I'll show you what I actually put it back on let's just delete these ones I put one there when I that went down to about 108 feet, I think it was about 108 feet. <coughs> and these ones, I'll start back up. It was, it was 54 ish, so I'm just going to set that at 56, it was actually about 54. And then these ones, I changed it because it was a little bit of a, a tide there and a bit of a wind, as well as the spray of the sea. I did change it to about 48 so I'm just going to alter these ones that was about 60 so, oh, it won't actually let me go to 60 on here <coughs> this one was about 88 from when I flew so I'm going to do it that at the moment So that's the actual route I took. I haven't changed any of these alterations. So I'll go back to the first one to show you on what I've actually done. So this is the first one. Here's all my focal points, which I'm having disabled because I want to actually look at those areas, but not to move the camera because I like to do that manually. So I'll just go through all these waypoints. As you can see, I'm starting off at number one. So it's always pointed at me at the moment in that area. I'm going through. I've done quite a few waypoints because I want a nice smooth action. And then we change. So I'm actually pointing at number two, which is this is a gun battery. You'll see me alter the camera in that direction. So I'm going to go through all these. See, it's all still on disabled. And we're still focusing on that area. And now I've changed it to number three, which is this tall tower here. As you can see. And we're still going through. It's still disabled. And then, oh sorry, I'll go back to that one. It changes to number four, which is this part of the chapel. As you can see, it's still at 200 feet. And then we change back to number five. So then I can get a nice smooth action going around this entrance here. It is actually a little bit lower down as well from the main height. I set these ones at 49 feet. Because this is actually, when you look at from where I am, my starting point is at three feet, so I'm actually quite high up here above sea level. So I've altered it up to 49 feet above sea level, so that's roughly 35 feet, 36 feet above from where I started point. But this entrance actually drops down a little bit, so I've done that to 39 feet. It doesn't really matter with these. <coughs> If I was taking photographs, I would use the focus point here. I'll show you that. So it'd be a minus 26. So that would alter the camera by itself to that height. But you don't always get it right. So that's why I always disable and then alter the camera myself. 
So I'm going through these, still focusing on the entrance, still focusing on the entrance, and then again a change onto these. So it should go to number four. So then we're having a long shot. I do alter the camera here slightly, as you'll see in the video. I'm still going around, but now we want to focus on number six, which is back up to 49 feet. So it doesn't really matter unless I'm taking photographs and auto focus POI. Coming round, I alter a camera, I think, there again. And we come back to ourselves. And when it gets to this point, I do alter the camera to face down towards the ground. So there we go, that's the smoothest part of the uh, action, but I believe will be going through there. So I don't use interpolate because that's only if I'm using the, the focal POI. And I didn't uh, set it in uh, my settings at all. I've still got it at 10 miles an hour curved. That's because I'm not taking photographs. If I was taking photographs on this section, on actions, it does say they're disabled with curved turns. So there we go. I did make a cock up at the beginning, which I'll show you at the end of the outtake, <coughs> when I deleted all that other area in position and when I was actually there. These went down to minus 19, and I hadn't checked out because I didn't think it would alter that. So it took off from here, took over there, and went straight down into the ground. Luckily, there was no damage, just a bit of mud onto the, the skids of the actual aircraft. So I took it out of uh, F mode, reset the height, altered these heights, and then replayed the mission. That's it, so you should always check the heights, even in position. Say, I didn't check it, I thought, oh yes, perfect, just delete that one go back to it nope so there you go so uh, I'll put the video on now and I'll show you what uh, it actually looks like thank you
begun Nights are warm and the days are young